Returning to our coverage of COVID-19 and what's being called vaccine hesitancy among some in racialized communities. While the mistrust is rooted in history, experts say institutional racism still exists today. CTV's Saran Fanel reports. The vaccine. We don't need that vaccine. It's not for us. It's not worth at all. Yurella Mason moved to Toronto from the Caribbean nearly 50 years ago. Oh, we haven't gone through what the people down south have gone through. But it's our people, it's our generation. When it comes to COVID-19, she says she has little trust in the healthcare system. As a black woman, knowing what has happened in the past, I don't think I'm ready to take that vaccine. As defined by the World Health Organization, vaccine hesitancy refers to the delay in acceptance or refusal of vaccines despite availability of vaccine services. Like some other members of African, Caribbean, Black and Indigenous communities, Mason is not alone in her concern. Um, I'm not taking it. I don't trust it at all. I just don't trust any messages from the government. Some of their reservations stemming back to the 1930s in what is known as the Tuskegee study. For 40 years, hundreds of black men in Alabama were part of a scientific experiment on untreated syphilis. They thought they were receiving treatment for bad blood. Gordon Thane says health officials and medical bodies need to address the trauma from then and now. Uh, we know that in the healthcare system, there's still um, institutional racism. Uh, black patients are more likely to be underprescribed for pain medications for the same uh, conditions. Toronto Public Health says one solution is to use ambassadors in racialized communities as a messenger of accurate information. So if we can provide the right information through a trusted source, we know that that can actually play a very big role. The U.S. has significantly more data collected to gauge vaccine hesitancy among certain groups. Health officials and experts here agree more polling needs to be done to better address the problem. Saran Fennell, CTV News.